Hello, welcome back to my channel. Today, we would like to discuss more on the uh, how building orientation uh, we can save energy by just uh, focusing on the building orientation. By continuing last project, here you can see this uh, our model, our house in azonometric view okay what I would like to show you all is about uh, now uh, the just focusing on the side rotation now our side rotation is on angle of north degree zero okay where 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 is the exact location while we setting angle of north degree zero, okay, uh, we can see on the our three D viewer. Okay, based on the three D viewer, angle north zero. We can set is the uh, the window the the door is facing south. Okay, uh, zero north meaning to say here our with our door facing south. The wall without any window facing east. So this is our location when we set zero north at this uh, side rotation. Now back on the astronomic view. Uh, here is still on the model IT. All right. For your all information, ISB allow user to orientate the building freely to analyze suitable orientation for the building. The orientation has its own contribution in passive design strategy, which will be discovered later. Before that, we proceed to the orientation. I want to show you. I want to show you all uh, this step-by-step uh, -step procedure on how to to simulate the orientation differently, and we get different energy consumption. So. Basically, this is our benchmark. The orientation angle of course is zero degree, which is the door, the door of the building facing facing south. All right. So basically. In order to to simulate this orientation, we have to go to the aperture in energy aperture. So we have we can say we, we safe change the room because we want to orientation north is zero. We change yes. Then we see this uh, actual load. Okay. Okay, now, now uh, as we want to have this uh, zero orientation north as a benchmark, then we can save the result file later. Uh, for example, orientation zero degree north as, as per our setting just now. So uh, this, uh, uh, how about the others? The others uh, we just uh, interested to analyze the type of room. Okay, so let it be. And the system load. We want to simulate the system load. Uh, of course, we have to click the enable sound link, cast link because. We want to see the effect of the orientation, sun orientation, energy within the building. So we have to click the solar enable sun cast link. Alright. Uh, this uh, simulation time step, that it be. Okay. Uh, then what, we, what else? We can see the... Uh, I think for now we just uh, use this. Okay, the simulation option. I think uh, 
can use the x-ray simple all right okay then we try to calculate first okay okay now the the system is calculating this energy calculation okay uh, now we can see we just save just now is the orientation zero nose dot clg so the cooling loop okay we want to see the cooling loop now the system has just simulated it then what we want to see is uh, we can see this uh, building load okay for example of course uh, in this hot and humid air okay we want to see the effect of the uh, different orientation of the house with the cooling load with the house cooling load so for example let's see we want to see the room cooling plant sensible load in kilowatt okay this is for the room as i said before this is a room uh, the door is facing just now south okay with the zero north orientation then we will see we can see this uh, we can simulate this uh, you can see the result in the vista pro okay okay we can see the graph okay this is the sensible load for the house <clears throat> as you can see throughout the year january to december Okay, you may adjust the different orientation okay you just go to this uh, model IT back and then we can change the orientation let's say for example you change the orientation uh, to 90 degree rotation or let's say 180 degree of rotation so we will see the different facing of the door and the window ok then to reconfirm you can select the 3D modeling see now the the window is facing north while both the window facing east and south uh, not, nothing facing the west so so we try to simulate the different orientation of the house so basically same procedure just now you to simulate the energy consumption you have you need to go to the aperture energy see safe because you change the orientation of the room already yes then go to the extra load for the different angle simulation calculation okay just now we change the orientation to 180 north so now we change the orientation at 80 north same procedure same solar enable casting okay because you already changed the orientation then you calculate Okay, because we uh, already uh, changed the orientation, I missed this step. Sorry, I need to run Saskan Suncast again because we already changed the orientation. So this Suncast will give you, we simulate the energy uh, uh, regarding this uh, sun orientation to the building. Okay, then we simulate it again. Okay, go to Suncast and go to the solar shading calculation okay you can find this is in my previous video how to simulate the sun cast i will i will make it faster start so let this sun cast you can view the result so this is the sun cast simulation for this uh, 180 degree north okay okay then you go to apache uh, then you, you 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 
can go to uh, actually load okay 180 nodes then you calculate ah now you can do it because it's recognized the sun cast on the 180 degree already okay see uh, the difference from just now is that this orientation is 180 nodes degree dot cooling okay, we'll see the cooling load so this cooling load uh, you can see the result okay go to the uh, system room cooling plan sensible load okay, and we we'll see okay this is the 180 degree house orientation look like you can uh, compare it to the our benchmark just now is zero orientation loss so how to make it it's easy you just control pressing control and then you select both zero nodes and 180 nodes and you click the room cooling load plan sensible load then sorry it's different and you click the graph okay now you can see the different cooling plant sensible load both or different orientation 0 and 180 degree north okay you see our benchmark just now is a room cooling load plant sensible load for the orientation 0 north blue color okay this is the blue color the highest the higher one the highest one okay the highest this is a higher look compared to the our improvement orientation we oriented to 180 degree north and we can see the room cooling plant sensible load is tremendously lower than this uh, our benchmark just now right we also can see the table you can compare one to one load so easy we get the maximum or value so that we can compare the reduction in energy consumption due to the sun so you can see this so maximum room cooling plant sensible for 880 and different compared to our benchmark so we can see the maximum value is 0 0.9 while after we change the orientation this maximum value is 0 0.79 okay it's around uh, 6 uh, it's around 0 0.2 almost 0 0.2 reduction in and uh, energy consumption from the sun radiation okay, okay. 0 0.2 kilowatt so quite quite big numbers yeah so you can make any improvement orientation you can try because this is only we 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 compare by just modify the passive design strategy without touching the active design at all so you can see it already so this is really the big day graph big day table okay this is a big day table uh, so you can see during the day uh, the highest load will be on kind of uh, around the noon so you can can play around with yourself okay that's it for now we'll continue our discussion in my another video okay bye bye see you again